Hello, I am Wonder001, and this is my review of the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod. Now, for my setup, when I'm doing tabletop reviews of tech items, I don't really need something like this. It's a smaller form factor, more portable. Uh, my setup, I'll roll in some B-roll here, kind of, you know, once you get it set up, you really don't move it around a lot. So this is more for the creator on the go, so to speak. And for me, I wanted to make sure that it would fit nicely in my little carrying bag that I got with my Canon SL2. So as you saw there, it fit very nicely in that free bag that I got. So what you're looking at is a tripod that is 7.3 inches long. So nice, easy portability there. It is 8.2 ounces in weight. So again, very light. Now, a lot of the other reviews that I saw of the Manfrotto Pixie Mini here, just talk about, yeah, it's easy to hold. It's really cool. Well, we're gonna take a little more in-depth look at that. And what I'm talking about is up here, you have the ball joint, which will allow you to rotate the position of the camera that you have on top of here. The threaded screw does not actually twist uh, as you see with many normal tripods. This one, the entire tripod itself will rotate to actually get this to lock down. Now, the top of it here is slightly rubberized, so it's, I wanna say it's a rubberized plastic. It, it, it definitely is textured. Now, as you see the ball joint, all you have to do is depress the button here and you can kinda of rotate that however you like as long as you have the ball joint depressed. Now, it does offer you a good stable hold if you're going to use it as just a kind of extender for your camera, which I rather like and have done several times. Now, in here I will again roll in some B-roll of you have your selfie or vlogging stance, so you can kind of move the ball joint so that you can hold it. You can also use it, I have found and have tried, uh, for more of those sliding, uh, you know, product review shots to kind of fancy up your review, obviously. I don't really do those all that often because, well, not a super fan of a lot of B-roll, and I want to look at the product, not, you know, fancy lighting. But, Moving down past the ball joint and depressor here, you have your matte finish on the legs, so that does offer you a little bit of grip. Now, it's not super slick, so if you grab it, your hand gets a little sweaty, you're not gonna drop this. Uh, I do feel that perhaps over time, I have not run into this issue as of yet, but uh, may wanna throw some grip tape on there to make it a little easier to grab onto. Now, the legs do pop out, and when they are in this form factor, you have a height of five inches from the lowest point here to the connector up there. Now, coming down to the bottom of the feet, there are little rubber grips there, which do help it stay in place. So once it is fully deployed, you have a little bit of leeway. So as you saw, I'm sitting here pushing it. Now, most people, when they are demonstrating this show, hey, this is my little vlogging camera. Well, Manfrotto says you can use a compact digital SLR. So in my case, I have the Canon SL2, which is what I've been testing this particular mini tripod out with. And it's primarily why I wanted to get a mini tripod. I'm trying to do some videos when I go out and vlogging. I, I tried something on my other channel, a video over there. And one of the major things that I found is when holding that camera and walking, even though the lens that came with it has a optical image stabilization, the image was not as stable as I wanted. And I think that's probably because of the way I have to hold the digital SLR to take video with it. So I wanted to get this to see if that would help with it and you know, help with different angles too. Uh, so Manfrotto says that you are looking at a mo maximum body weight for a digital SLR of 1.4 pounds and a total payload, including a kit lens, so not a telephoto lens, of 2.2 pounds. So for most compact digital SLRs, you will be okay with that. And in fact, here is my Canon SL2, and we're just going to attach that thusly. And then the beauty of it is, depending on where you want this button, you can just depress it and work the ball joint however you need it to be. So here you go. Canon SL2 with the kit lens and a microphone that I'm testing out, holding it sideways and it's not moving. Now, I'm gonna give it a little shaky shaky, 
So you can see it does hold. Now, my concern is since this is not a dialed in uh, mounting plate here, you do, and I would suggest checking, you know, before you go and do something crazy, just make sure that's nice and snug up there uh, before you go out and do something crazy. And here we go, we'll put this down so you can see. Now it'll be a little easier if the giant mic was not there, but we'll just push that back thusly. So Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod is definitely something that uh, you wanna have kinda if you're an out in the wild type of videographer. Now, depending on where you pick this up, you can pick it up for between 18 and $27. So that's the other thing. I've seen some people who've had these and they like, they're really rough with them and they break a leg off or something like that. Uh, well, at that price point, if I break this, I'm not going to be crying. So, you know, maybe 18, $27 as a little higher in your price budget as, as you start, you know, your journey uh, to taking video or better photography. But you know, at that price, it's, it's not terrible. So for what I've been looking for, and this is exactly the form factor I was looking for, for a mini tripod to bring with me, uh, this, this fits the bill really well. So I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.